Hi guys, I wanted to share some things with you guys today. I wanted to talk to you guys about blending. Um, blending colors together, making them work. Um, just getting two colors to become one. So I'm gonna try and make this quick for you guys. I'm using the 88 color palette, the neutral eyeshadow palette from BH Cosmetics. And I'm using that because there is an extreme white in there. For the black, I'm gonna be using the Ludwig palette from Kat Von D. If you can blend black and white together, then you can blend any color. So what I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna be getting my, um, a flat brush and I'm gonna be applying the white to my eye. Okay, so I got my white on there. Now I'm gonna go in with my black. And what I'm gonna be using is I'm gonna be using a small MAC 219 brush. And I'm gonna go in there with my black. And I'm not gonna go all over right away. I'm just gonna kinda put it where I want and I'm gonna go right in there like that. Just very softly like that. And just kinda get it in the general area that I want it to be in. And then I'm gonna go in with my MAC. I'm gonna go in with my MAC 224. And I'm just gonna blend that out. Now I'm gonna blend it ever so lightly. I'm not gonna be hard because I don't want my look to be muddy. But I'm just gonna go in there really lightly. and very softly, and I'm just gonna incorporate the two colors. And just doing that until they become one. Now, I don't usually do this, but I'm going to do this for the purpose of the video. I'm going to add white on top of this color, and we're going to do it again just to get it so that you can see. I'm going to do it one more time just so that you can see how the colors blend together. Now, I'm just going to apply this white on top of here. Okay, now we're gonna go back in with the small 219 brush and we're gonna dip back into that black from the Kat Von D palette. And we're just gonna apply it once again very lightly in that area. Just really just tap it there. You don't really gotta rub it in, just tap it. Just small little baby taps. And then we're gonna go back in with our blending brush and we're just gonna blend it out softly. Now, like I said, if you can blend a black and a white, you can pretty much blend any colors you have. What I do before I do any makeup look is if there are colors that I want to work with and just to make sure I don't get a muddy look, I'll swatch them on my hands to see what they look like at some juncture together. Swatch them together on your hand and this way you kind of get a general idea of what you're doing. Now let's go for the other eye. Now we're gonna go in again with our darker color, our black, and we're just gonna pat it in that crease area or where, wherever we want to apply a different color. 
and we're just going to pat it in there and then we're going to go back in with our blending brush and we're just going to soften that out. Now when you're blending, it's always important to use a clean crease brush. You don't want a crease brush that has other colors on it that you've used before because then you will end up with a muddy look. A clean brush is just going to soften the color that you're working with. And that's generally what you want to do for blending. Now we're going to go back in with our lighter shade and we're going to just apply that white one more time just for the sake of the video so that you guys can actually see what's going on here. Now we're going to go back in with our black and I'm not even going to dip it back in the product because there's a lot of product on this brush and I'm just going to pat it in there just to kind of intensify the color. And then we're going to go back in with our blending. Now, if you notice, it's deeper here. It's deeper here and it decreases, and that's what you want. And it kind of just fades out like a gradient into the upper part of the eye, giving room for that nice brow bone. Okay, and there you go. And that is how you would blend your eye colors. Um, I hope the lighting is right. I did change up my room a little bit and where I was normally filming to kind of get a different light for you guys. So, I hope this helps and I hope all your looks are flawless.